Jared Poland Frono's photo. Dot com and we're trying something a little different today. I have Abe here in the bottom of the uh, blah 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 bottom screen corner. Abe, how you doing today? Doing all right. Abe is from Cleveland, close enough, right? Yep, close enough to Cleveland, something like that. He sent me an email to uh, fro. What's it? Fro at fronosphoto dot com, and he asked me to look at his site, and he had a question in there, uh, which was pretty much, you know, I've been doing this for fifteen years. My full time, your full time gig's a chef, right? Yes. So he's a chef, but he takes photos, and he does a kick-ass job because I was looking through his site, whether it's the Dark Glamour, uh, which uh, has nudity in it. So we're not going to actually show the Dark Glamour, but I'll put a link to his website. If you choose to go there, that's for you. Um, We're just doing that for the reasons for not to upset people if they don't want to be presented with that. But if you'd like to, you can go check out the site and see what he has there. But he posed another question whether, you know, he says that people tell him that he should be a teacher all the time. Why, well, you know what? Why don't you explain to people, since you're here, what they uh, tell you? Okay. Well, just a quick backstory. Um, my girlfriend actually goes to a college in the area, and she took a photography class last year just because you know she wanted a little bit more experience because she does work with me on occasion. Um, and the teacher at the college literally was a graphic arts teacher he wasn't he didn't know anything about photography he didn't even know what a DSLR camera was so when she she ended up teaching the class and then half the halfway through the class she would call or text me for information because the teacher didn't know the answers to the questions that the students were asking right so, um, and I've had quite a few other people I've gotten some emails here and there of people asking you know can you do private classes or whatnot so uh, the feedback I'm getting from people around me is that I should teach how to use a camera properly. Right. So, and your and your concern is more that you know do you have the background because you didn't have schooling for it. Yeah. Um, you know, and and we'll get back to that in a second. And I also want to tell people we're going to go through this website. And I saw some things I would give some feedback on, but you know. I looked through this stuff and I was amazed when you told me that you're shooting a lot of it with D100, a D100, and some of it with the Fuji S2. Correct? Yes. Yeah. It, again, I mean, I saw the stuff and I was like, "Wow, you're getting some really, really interesting stuff." The dark glamour stuff is really cool. There's a lot of alternative girls in there, the tattoos, the piercings, and they're interesting. But then we looked at. Um, then we looked at uh, fashion. There's some really cool stuff in there. And Abe, I'll just flat out say it. Yeah, you could teach any class. You don't need the schooling to do so. Schooling doesn't make you, you know, a good photographer or a great photographer. Schooling just teaches you technique uh, most times. And you've you've come, you know, you you've taught your. Have you taught yourself mostly? Uh, all of it. Yeah. All right. So you've taught yourself. You know how to learn it on your own so you should have a better way of teaching it that like me I started off on my own before I got into school so I didn't have schooling until you know I hit like uh, 10th grade or something like that then I went to college and you know I couldn't go back to my I couldn't go to a college today to teach because I do not have a teaching degree which is just absurd that you need to have a teaching degree for something like photography when you know Sure, if I had a master's or a bachelor's in uh, photography, I don't even think it would matter. You know, that doesn't make the photographer. Um, You make the photographer. You are, you know, you learning to do what you do is what it's all about. And, yeah, you could absolutely teach. And I also think you could absolutely get out there and if you wanted to stop cooking, like I know you were interested in that, I know it's tough. It's tough to get out there and do it. But if you could maybe lighten the load of, of of the cooking... And get out there and do some more shooting, you know, once or twice a week, get those paying gigs. And then over time, they start adding more and more. Then you may be able to to fully give it up. You know what I mean? That's what I'm ultimately looking to do. All right, which would be cool. So, you know what? Let's get in. I'll give you some quick feedback. What I noticed first on the website, the website's functional. It works well. But actually, when I, after, say, I click on something like fashion, I did notice that I did not see a back button. Okay. Right. So just a simple home button or something in on the page would be amazing. I mean, I realize that I could just scroll backwards and go back, um, but yeah, just a simple button to go home would be great. And then I would, um, I'd cut back on how many, how many different types of photos you have here, how many different sections. 
you know, because there's a lot. You've got you have portraiture, but fashion and portraiture could possibly go together. Um, you've live event, nature, animal, heart. There's a lot. So maybe do categories with subcategories. So you have your fashion slash portraiture. Uh, with you know your dark glamour can go in there too. So you have different hubs, different sections of your work. Maybe you had four different sections. You know, you've got your nature, animals, and, and landscapes, or if, I don't see that here, but, you know, you've got one, you can't see me now, actually, but I'm, I'm basically, if you cut it into four squares and said, this is what's in this one, this is what's in this one, this is here, this is here, it may just make it a little more organized, and I yeah. also saw that, you know, when we click on fashion, you have 100 pictures in here, how many pictures, 83, if you pick your best 24, 25, maybe 30 images, I, I would say the best 25 images, no more than that. Pick the best of the best, and then if people want more, then you still have another 25 to hit them with next. You always want to hit with your best, so I think 83 is just too many to have in there. So pare it down to ones that are just you think are killer. Um, you know that that's what I'd recommend for that. And then you know what? Let let's go through. I'd love. I want to go through your dark glamour, but I, again, I don't want to piss anybody off out there that doesn't want to see it so guys if you want to go through the dark glamour section there's some really really cool stuff um right now we're in fashion why, why don't you tell me about your lighting how do you do your lighting um outdoor stuff mainly uh sp600 that's the only thing that i've used um i i have a reflector i think i've used it twice and you have a soft box uh, behind you right now right yeah i've got uh my studio lights are completely different than what i use outside um in studio, I've got three. I've got two soft boxes, a brolly box, and then uh, a couple of shoot through umbrellas and a chrome. And what do you um, shoot with inside? Um, as far as camera wise, lights, lights, lights. Um, I use newer products. Um, I found them on eBay. Okay. And they're, I think I paid three hundred and fifty bucks for a, a three light kit that came with two soft boxes and a barn door. Okay. So um, they're not like high end thousands of thousands of dollar lights, but they're... you make it work, right? All right, no, that that's definitely cool. You know what? Why don't we just go through some of these photos and just take a quick look? Um, okay. uh, you can see what I'm on, right? Yep. All right, I'm just gonna go through some some of those. I just feel that the background's pretty distracting. Okay. You know, I if you're going for high apertures, you know, something like this, you've got the building. If if she was just blown out. What what lens are you using with this? Uh, that picture actually was taken a couple years ago. That was my kit lens. Okay, you see what we're doing here? You ready? If if it's something that doesn't represent your best stuff, put it in a separate folder. Like go through this stuff and and put out what you really want representing your work. You okay. know what I mean? It, it's just because you want to do that so that people see the best of the best, and then then you could hit them with this stuff later if they want to see more. But yeah, just hit them with those 20 to 25 best shots and, and you'll see a major difference because some people aren't going to want to go through every single image, you know? Right. But I, I like this fashion stuff. I like the colors and things that you're getting um, and the lights. I mean, this is, it, it's not my type of style because it's not what I do. I am not a fashion type photographer, but this is really cool stuff because fashion is just, can be over the top. And, and I think think you're getting great color great clarity with what you're shooting with and just the lights you're doing are, are really on that actually the picture you're on right now mm -hmm. uh was shot with a set of garage lights hey whatever you can do it with i mean this you're a prime example that you're doing it with whatever you've got you know especially d100 which takes 60 seconds to save a raw file you know you do one frame you think one frame a second is slow how about one frame a minute you know yeah um no, I just your angles are great. Your your colors are great. This fashion stuff. I mean, these who's this model? Uh, her name's Morgan. Morgan looks good. Is that a hose coming out of the wall? Uh, yes. Wow, is that meant to be there? No, it was just uh, that's actually almost a candid from the shoot. I I like it. I mean, I like her angle. I like those pants she's wearing. <laughs> I don't know why I just like them, but no, I, I you have a great connection here with your models. Nice colors. I mean, your processing is unique. Where what do you process in? Lightroom. Yeah, you know, you have a very punchy process, right? Yeah. And it, but that's your style, and that's uh, do people come to you to go shoot? Like, hey, can you do these? You know, you did these portraits of my friend. Can you come and photograph me? Is that how it works? Word of mouth. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, that's pretty much how I've been operating. All right, and people are okay. And they pay you, and and you. you... Yeah, I get. Uh, I, uh, right now, uh, the economy's got me kind of down, but uh, yeah, I, I get get, get mm-hmm. months where I'm busy, and then I go two months with nothing. Okay. I'm getting more into the bands now, as far as the paying clients. Sure. Uh, the, mo- the models have definitely uh, run out of money, but it, it does. It's tough. I mean, this is, I like this stuff. This is, I mean, you could shoot your bands like this. I mean, you found a, just a blue wall here, and actually you've got a, what, what camera is this one done with? That's a D100. You still using it? Yeah. Yeah, it's my backup. Do you have a lot of dust in there? Uh, I did. I just had it blown out. Okay. Uh, picture's a little, that picture's about a year old. All right. I, I like this one. This is a nice shot. I mean, I think that's good to keep in, in, in a portfolio. Um, I would probably get rid of all of this uh extra uh vignetting stuff because i think your pictures are strong enough to stand on their own you know what i mean without that yeah um because that's a, it's a strong image is this good is this all right the feedback yes yes i, I appreciate it thank just, you just checking just checking i mean so what lens why don't you tell me what lens tell everybody what lenses you're using for this stuff currently uh, currently, I'm using a Sigma 24-70 to DG, um, and then I'm using a Sigma 50, or 50 millimeter macro and a Sigma 70-300 to um, macro. We so, have to get you a 70-200 to Sigma. Yes, I've, I've, I want one. <laughs> we have to do that. I'm, I, you know what? I'll just say, I, I sent them an email. I'm asking if they will give me one for a contest. Oh, that'd be... Nice. I, I'm I'm hoping that they say yes because I would like to give one of those away. But these are I love I like your stuff. Um, I'd pull this one by the way. Twenty seven. You cut her feet off. No. Uh, okay. I would yank I it. I would totally because she you have stronger stuff of her. Um. But yeah. I, instead of going through all of this, everybody, you can check out the site. There's a lot of great stuff here. I what I'll just say is I I love your tones. Uh, I love your colors. I, I really like what you're getting here. Um, especially with what you're working with, you're, you're fully capable and to bring it all the way back to the beginning of, can you do this, uh, and teach classes? Absolutely. I think you would have a lot of fun with it. I think people would enjoy what you're talking about. You have a style that you've created. You understand the lighting, you understand your settings and how one thing corresponds and works with, with the other. That's what a teacher is. You're, you're just throwing down there the, the basics, but in your way of teaching it. You know, do you feel confident that you could do that? I feel confident that I, I know what I'm doing from my artwork. Um, it's just conveying it to the masses is, is where I was a little unconfident. I just needed, uh, you know, I've got my friends. They're all biased. They all tell me yes, but they're biased. You know, they're my friends. Sure. I wanted sure. an outside opinion, somebody who didn't know me, somebody who doesn't, you know, hang out with me on a daily basis to be like, you know, yes or no. There's, there's anybody in this world can start a website and teach. I know we talked about you would teach it. An option was to teach at a school locally. Yes. You know, you, you start with that and then you just translate some of that online. I mean, you start a blog where you teach. I mean, what, that's how I started Frono's photo. I started just creating content, teaching my, my way of teaching and, and how I thought. And plus it gets you better in front of the camera and you, and you start you know, being seen as, as, you know, people see your work and then they go, okay, I like following what you do. They want to see more. You can have a, I guarantee you, you can have a big following, uh, mm. with the, you know, you've got the dark, the, you know, dark glamour scene, you know, there's a lot of alter. do they, do they like being called alternate alternative girls? Eh, that's what they end up called anyways. So. Okay. Well, I, you know, the tattoos, the piercings, the hair, the whatever, there's a big following for that stuff. The vampire looks. And people always want to know how it's done. So, you know, you can do that. Um, and then one other thing I noticed, you have weddings. And my suggestion to Abe here was to yank weddings off this page because they were traditional. Um, and put that somewhere else. Because a, a, a person looking for a wedding may, that may not be into that dark glamour stuff may be put off. Um, but then that also brought up another thing is you could then own the dark glamour wedding style i am sure there are people that want to have the alternate we'll call them alternative weddings um and i know you said in your area it's difficult in cleveland to find different gigs different jobs 
uh, that are paying the the type of money that you would look for for weddings. Um, but we live in a global community where if you put it out there that you are the wedding glamour, the, the dark wedding glamour photographer, and you say, this is what I do, you can hire me and I will travel, then there's no reason why you can't command a higher price. And and you stick to what you like. You love, you said your first love was macro. You know, you, you tie all of that together, but you do it in your style. You could become the dark glamour wedding photographer and just, just own it, stick with it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. traditional can be a little over the top boring from time to time. And I don't think it matches with your style. And do you enjoy the traditional or do you enjoy the dark glamour more? I enjoy the dark glamour way more. So so own it. Own the crap out of it. Start a web page for dark glamour wedding photography. You know? Okay. And 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 try to, you know, put it out there. Tell all your tattoo artist friends that have tattoo artist friends in other places. Go to tattoo conventions, right? Yeah, unfortunately, there's only one in Ohio. There's one in Ohio. I know they do them in Philly. I know they do them in Florida. I know they probably do them in, in L.A. They're all over the place. But if you just, you know, talk to your friends and tr give them a trade, you know what? Y here. Here we go again. My brain is working. You ready? You, hey. you, you have tattoo artist friends, right? Yes. You hang out at the tattoo shop? Yes. You can do their photography for every person that comes in there that wants the photo done, right? Yeah. Have they asked you for that yet? I've done a few. All right. So you can work out the trade. Put Get a couple of these alternative girls and guys together. Put together on a Saturday or Sunday what you would think would be an alternative wedding photo shoot. All right? So instead of paying them, offer them photos in trade or something like that and get them out there. Get somebody to marry them that just has a million piercings, you know, it just looks crazy. You're your atypical per, uh, officiant and put on your own type of wedding. But take sample images. Make a portfolio out of this. Do the portraits. Do the first look stuff. Do the first bite of the neck, you know, with blood coming out. Instead of kissing the bride, you're going to bite each other's neck. I don't know where I come up with this stuff. I don't I'm not a vampire fan, but I, it just the brain starts rolling on how you could market this. You make it. You put up that website. You make some videos online because I've seen your behind-the-scenes stuff. That's good stuff. It's all, People always want to know how you do this stuff behind the scenes. So if you just break down the whole shoot and you say, this is my style of doing a wedding, um, it's dark glamour, well, then you have all these tattoo friends. You leave your cards there. You leave a book there. You know, you get Adorama Picks to make you a book. Why don't I give you a free book? You're going to get a free book. I'm going to have Adorama Picks set you up with a free book so you can make one of these dark glamour books that I'm talking about and you'll put it in in a store. All right. All Thank right. You. So they're going to get you like an 8 by 10 book. I'll make sure to tell them what what to send you. Um, I just need your email when we're done so they can do that. Um, okay. So they'll give you a book. Make a dark glamour book that stays in in the tattoo shop. One, it's going to showcase different tattoos. Sure, some may not all be theirs, but you're going to ask them to promote you for this hey are you getting married do you know anybody getting married and and in exchange you'll come in and do some candas of them working you'll do some you'll take some of their tattoo pictures to put on the wall maybe they'll even want some books made and then they can go to adorama picks and make some books right um yeah. but yeah it's it's that I, I i like to think in the marketing wise on how you could brand it and how you can turn it into an actual you know profession and, and get where you start making that the big money where they fly you in you know, own the scene. You love the scene. Become that guy that owns it. And that, and for everybody out there, if there's something that you love doing, and there's there's people that enjoy what you do, own that scene. Become the person in that niche that that just owns it. Because there's no reason why you can't make five thousand dollars for a wedding. There really isn't. Or four thousand. You know, you could do the upper tier weddings, and you know, you could get called in to go to New York, and they'll be like, oh, five six grand plus transportation and plus a hotel. You know what? That's better than the, the the traditional guy who wanted ten grand and wasn't giving us what we wanted. People will pay for quality work. People will pay for your vision. You just have to tell them that it's there, and you just have to own it. You know. All right, throw it back at me. What do you what do you think of uh, everything so far? So far, so good. I I really appreciate the feedback on the work. <clears throat> there was one in particular, one folder in particular, I wanted you to look at because okay. it's something that you do yourself. Uh, and that was the commercial stuff. 
um, because I've got a lot of the bands and stuff in there. Okay. And I know that you're a big big into music. I know that the next two images there, the monster ones, those are horrible and need to come down. But uh, the rest of the stuff, um, I just wanted you, you know, th that's one of the things I wanted you to critique because that's what you do. All right. Yeah, sure. Let's go through it. Um, with Monster, Monster has a lot of advertising money to throw around. They're big in music. They're big in alternative. Um, redo these. Send it to them. Those ones, actually, the girl in them, she was the first female pro video gamer, and she hired me to do them, like, way back in the day. That was actually shot with the uh, uh, Fuji S5200. Ah. But uh, the, the reason that's why they went in there is just because I, I liked them at the time, but I'm, uh, since not liking the, the coloration and stuff. Go but, out and find a vampire chick, have her bite, um, bite the can put the monster side i don't know what is with me in biting i don't know but um you know do a photo shoot around this stuff and then make that stuff your portfolio you know what i mean pick things like they would be actual jobs or assignments that's like a great recommendation that we used to get in school is like all these assignments are so that when you do get a real job you're ready for it because you've already done it um so yeah, definitely rip through your own website and start pulling out. If you have a doubt about it, you say, oh, well, that was old and it doesn't represent what I do or it's not my strongest thing, pull it down, redo some of the stuff, and go for it. Like Monster, you could always email them and be like, here, check out these new photos I did of your stuff. If you have things going on in Cleveland, I'd be more than happy to cover it. Um, send me a free refrigerator. They have awesome refrigerators. Uh, yeah, this is cool. What's in front of her face? Uh, it's just scan lines. Okay digital edit all right i i mean i i like this stuff but well, give, give us an idea of what this blind seven is oh uh, that one no what just the name blind seven um well it's got kind of an an interesting uh, uh story um i used to be called something else uh way back in the day and after i started to get uh more popular i had a co company in japan contact me and asked me to change my name because their magazine's photographer was called Blind or was called Exile, uh, which is what I used to be called. And uh, it took me two months. And on a random whim, an ex-girlfriend goes, "You should just call it Blind Seven, and it stuck. Okay, fair so, enough. Yeah, it was just one of those random things. Yeah, I tried coming up with the uh, super philosophical. Well, the seven stands for this, and it just... yeah, but blind is like a photographer that's blind. It's kind of weird, but you know who cares? Well, a lot of my I know you say it all the time not to, but uh, when I first started out, I was uh, a big uh, shoot from the hip and uh, a spray and pray, I guess. Yeah, um, back in the day and. That it kind of was fitting because that was when it was named. I, sure. I would shoot from the hip a lot. Okay. But I don't so much anymore. Sure. No, I like the the the, the poker stuff again. Give yourself. Oh, this is really good. This is cool. I wish it was sharper. Well, actually, what's it sharp on this guy over here to the left and right? I'm trying to see where we're focused. I don't know. It's pretty good though. I like uh, I like the scene that you've created. You have a, a very good. It seems like a way of directing your subjects you know um band shots are definitely hard they're always difficult because they're so cliche they're so they're all the same you know what i mean yes you know and it, it's just difficult to do something different with bands uh that's why i love the candid so much is is that real spray paint no okay no, looks good no. though this is cool for the uh, Everclear stuff. and uh, Oh, that's a girl. That was, that was actually uh, Rachel Steele from 92.3. Uh, those were advertising pics I did for their website. Awesome. I mean, that that's great stuff. Here's another thing. You want another good thing? This is something I wanted to do. You you know people with radios. Uh, radios. Yeah. You know people at the radio station. Uh, used to. They've since destroyed that radio station. But, uh, All right. Yeah. Are there other ones that you have access to? Actually, we only really have one left in this in this upper cities that uh, actually has DJs. The rest of them are all just... Um, Spray and pray. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, well, recommendation here is if you can get in with them, offer them a trade, promotion, you'll give away a free alternative wedding. You're going to you're gonna give away a free alternative wedding. Tell the people how to contact you. Um, 
what to do, where to go. They'll hit your website up. You'll not only give away a free one because you'll, you'll they'll do an in-studio to give away to three different people. You'll pick one. Um, but then other people are going to go see your work. That's free adver- That's better than free advertising to give away stuff. I mean, you're giving away one wedding, but it's well worth it because if these people want to do this for you every single year on the radio, you know they're going to give away the rock and roll wedding, the alternative wedding. So you tie it in with a local DJ, a local band or somebody that will give away their services. You find a florist who's going to do some dark flower stuff. Um, you get them involved, and you come together. They put together a package for this, and then boom, you've got a, a, a wedding package that you're giving away that's worth fifteen thousand dollars. They they give they do the giveaway on the air. Uh, they promote you because you're putting it on. You you know you, people go to your website. They want to see what you're doing, and then that's how you get some more promotion. Good. Yep. I love that idea. I wanted to do that idea here, but I don't really want to shoot too many weddings. That's cool. No, this all I, I like your stuff. I do. I like I like that it it's diverse. It's diverse, but it still keeps your flair. You know. Well, I I much appreciate the critique. Yeah. No, and and that shot of the girl that we just looked at was cool too. I I saw that in the last um, section. I, I I like your dark stuff. I I do. Um, I love the I love the alternative girls, and you know we'll just bring it back to the to the front here. And I'll bring your screen up a little bigger here so people can see you bigger as we finish this up. But, no, I, I, it's just a matter of doing it. You know, there's, a, there's so many things that can be done. If there's a direction you want to go, focus on that direction, become successful at that, and then branch out from there. Um, but, no, I like, I like <coughs> what you're doing. I like the mentality that you have. I like that you taught yourself. I like what you're using and capable of using it to its full extent. Um and yeah, you can definitely teach this stuff. You can definitely get out there and try this dark glamour and uh, and blow it up. Well, so I thank you again for everything. No problem. Uh, so I'm going to just send people to your site, Blind7 Photography. Check it out. Check out the dark glamour stuff if you're into it and your eyes, won't, uh, your eyes aren't bleedable because there's some very interesting things in there. Uh, and, that, and that's really it. You know, thanks for emailing me. Thank you. You're welcome. So good luck. Stay in touch. Let me know what's going on. Let me know if you do set up to do one of those type of wedding things. Is that something that interests you? Yeah. Actually, it does sound like a good idea. I've never thought of doing maybe uh, such a large group thing like that. What, a a wedding or just uh, putting a fake wedding on? No, like uh, putting the thing together with the radio station. Oh, that, yeah. Well, the radio station thing is, you know, you contact a florist, you contact a videographer, you contact a DJ, like somebody who is local that, you know, will spin good music that you want to hear at that type of wedding. And if you organize that whole thing and you bring it to the station, one, they're going to get this promotion because the people will have to enter on their website. People will have to submit to list, you know, to to be picked, you know, so they're going to get hits to their site. They're going to get people listening. Hey, we're going to pick the winner. This is a $15,000 prize. And, you know, hopefully they don't, you know, want to say, you know, we're going to charge you for this. If you could work it out and be like, listen, I just want to give it away. I'll, I'll shoot some of your promotional events. Trade is the best. Be like, you know, it would be $2,000 for me to shoot your advertising stuff for your website and for your concerts that are coming up. You know what? Let trade me. Do this promotion online, and I will shoot these other things for you. It's all about trade. Use your use your photography as collateral, because it is. You know what we do is collateral. So yeah, I've done quite a quite a bit of trade in my day. <laughs> trade works. You know, if you can get something for it, go for it. But definitely let me know what you come up with, because it's I, I'd like to see it. Okay. All right, man. All right. All right. I, I know you have to get going, so. Uh, Thank you very much, and uh, everybody out there, shoot me emails. I tr- I read them. It takes a while, but I do read them. I do reply to them, and uh, keep sending them in. Fro knows. Uh, excuse me. It's uh, fro at froknowsphoto.com. Abe, have a good one, man. You too. All right, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.